And by now I'm sure you've seen what's been happening at the University of Missouri. You've stressed the importance of hearing what students have to say to you. Right. If a student came to you with similar complaints of racial insensitivity, how would you handle that? I think uh, I would be, first of all, I would try to be proactive and not wait until such a situation happens. Because I think we need to create the climate in, on campus, and I think the, our university has that climate, but we need to protect it, because it's always under threat, to be tolerant and inclusive. And, um, and what I've articulated, even from the day of the town hall meeting in September, when there were several questions from fellow students exactly around the theme of diversity and inclusion, what I've said is we need to go a step beyond diversity and inclusion. Those are very important. But it's not enough to have a diverse community. You need to create a sense of belonging. And I've been working on the idea of belonging. How do we make this university a community where every member of our community feels this is their place, they belong? Because you, know, you can have a very diverse student body or faculty or staff, and yet people, especially people from minorities, feel that, yeah, they're here, but they really don't belong. Um, so, so building that idea of a sense of belonging, I think, is very important. And it's a way of preventing the sort of incidents we saw in Missouri. In addition, part of the listening exercise is I met with the task force um, on black students' concerns. And I got the report of the task force, and we're following up on that. And, I'm, and you know, with, with uh, Pat, Pat Whiteley, we're, we're implementing many of the recommendations, and then with the LGBTQ task force. So I've met with those two um, task forces that have produced reports with very specific recommendations, and we're, that, that's been part of this listening period, and we're moving uh, forward with, with, some, with implementing or executing some of their recommendations.